Woods rolling out and whoop, into the end zone, two yards, 17 to 10. Then, couldn't tell what happened at first, but Sean Taylor spitting in Michael Pittman's face. Here comes the flag, which allows Tampa to keep the ball, and Taylor, who scored a touchdown, and it's a great safety, ejected from the game. And the Redskins have beaten the Tampa Bay Bucks by the count of 17 to 10, and we'll comment on the game here in a moment. But first, let's go over to Chris Mortensen, uh, who has more now, uh, Mort, on the ejection uh, of, of uh, Sean Taylor. What have we learned? Well, Chris, you know, there was a lot of confusion at the time. Nobody really knew what happened. But according to Mike Pereira, the league's supervisor of officials, who I spoke to a little while ago, don't blame it on referee Mike Carey. In fact, Mike Carey, once he said number 21 defense, there was so much noise, it drowned out what Carey said. And he did say he is been penalized for spitting into the face of an opponent. That is an automatic ejection. Does it disqualify him or get him suspended for next week's games against the Seahawks? No, but Sean Taylor can't expect a pretty hefty fine this week before that game. Seahawks. Sean Taylor, let's go to that incident. I mean, yeah, you've yeah. all been in, well, I don't know if you've been spit at, but you've well, been in the Well, Bill field. Romanowski, the famous J.J. Right? Uh, yeah. Stokes on Monday night when Bill Romanowski spit in J.J. Stokes' face. Uh, it's Bad. one of the cheapest things. Unacceptable. No, no, yeah, it's it's one of the unacceptable I'm not sure there's anything player. else no that you could do on the, the field that's more right. disrespectful than spitting Any player face. to any other player, right. it's unacceptable. In fact, I'm no afraid. Place for it I'm whatsoever. surprised that's all he got was a little. That's right. And he should be suspended yeah. for the next game. Well, we'll see. I mean, and obviously the interested party there would be Matt Hasselbeck. Oh, they're not going to have the safety? That would be intriguing if that happened. But, uh... Meanwhile, we have a second game to play, and that would be Tom Brady led the NFL in yards passing 4,100-plus. Never done that before, but he's won Super Bowls before. We'll be back.